it's the point for me. Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I should do a video, as you can tell by the title, about the pieces that I always wear every time it's summer. Um, I gravitate to these all the time and I've noticed a pattern and I don't know if that makes me predictable, as in boring, or makes me consistent in knowing my own style. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, let me know if you identify any of the things that I mentioned in this video in terms of like to you. Like, are you like, oh yeah, I always wear that during the summertime. Why am I always wearing that? Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is, these are the things. They're like the patterns. I call them the summer repeats, the summer patterns. And these are like seasonal things that, at least for me, I always reach for every single summer. So here we go. Why did I snap my fingers? I don't know. <gasps> my list is gone. Where is my list? Oh my God. I actually wrote a list. I can't find it. Wait, wait I got, hold on, wait. Where is it? Oh my, for Sorry, I just always, ha I had a list. Oh, for goodness sakes, I do not want to start again. You know what, I'm just gonna have to freestyle and see if I can remember. Oh God, I don't know if I'm gonna remember. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna tr see if I can remember them because um, it's just things that I just know I keep wearing and, and doing every summer. Uh, all right, so what was the first one? First one was, um, one bright thing every single summer i always do a bright thing it could be an accessory it could be my lipstick especially like last summer and the summer before like when we were all indoors i was doing it just to cheer myself up walking around and just like a, a massive like really bright fuchsia or orange um and i've been doing that every single summer but this year i noticed i haven't i mean we're in july I technically call that sort of halfway through summer, in my eyes it is, but I haven't been reaching for lipsticks, as you can see. I have just been going kind of more kind of like a bare minimal face. So for me, um, I instead, in terms of looking for a bright thing, and I do that every single summer, like I said, I picked up the mini Jody bag, which you guys have already seen. Look, it's right here. For anyone who hasn't seen my channel, hi, if you're new, hi, I'm Karen, and I do videos all about style, fashion, not just mine, but I go out in the streets and I ask everyone what they're wearing because I am fascinated. I'm a nosy parker and I love to do that. So if you are interested in those kind of yin yang videos of my style, but the style of everyday New Yorkers that I record, then subscribe to this channel. Okay, so the mini Jody bag, which would look really cool with what I'm wearing now. I like this. It doesn't look like this color, on screen because it looks like infrared and it's not it's actually i know this is going to sound weird he actually looks like this green in person it's blowing out in the camera it actually looks more like this color right here in person so it's like a really vibrant green but ping kind of green this is my idea of having like a punch and i actually like it with this this outfit which looks really good by the way this is also part of my clothing line that i'm coming out with really really soon I still can't believe it and I'm so proud of every single piece I came up with, um, including these high-waisted wide leg pants. Anyway, um, if you want any more information about that, I'll leave links for you below or just, if you're following me on Instagram, then you already know what's going down, you've seen the collection, etc. Um, but I could see this worn, I'm not holding my phone, I didn't have my notes. I kind of like this look together because the green, it picks up in the, this is a good look, if I do say so myself. I actually really like this. Anyway, so this is a some this is a thing that I do every single summer. Something bright always. Second thing is I always wear a light colored blazer. I wear blazers year round. I love a good men's oversized blazer. I don't need to tell you that by now. You guys already know. And this one I picked up from uh Actually, you guys were with me. Remember the thrifting video where I went to Goodwill? I found this in Goodwill. Goodwill, Manhattan, I think it was 23rd Street. Anyway, this was this there, honestly. The clouds parted and the angels sung. When I saw this blazer, because I just thought it was just fantastic, it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the sleeves to hit just like this. I wanted it to be deliberately oversized, almost like kind of like Jacquemus vibe on a budget. 
this was literally I think it was twelve dollars if you've not seen that video I will link it for you below but it just goes to show you can find some really badass things uh, you know just go open your eyes look out there they are there but every single year I think I gravitate to something kind of light colored in terms of outerwear and for me this year it was finding this particular jacket and I love it and I know that I'm going to keep wearing it every single summer every spring because it's just so badass I love it just like this but obviously I could I could cinch it like that like a really skinny belt like just kind of overlap it and then cinch at the waist that would look so cool as well I have not done that but I can see that so easy or just wear it like this just wear it like it just kind of loose obviously you can bunch your um, sleeves up you know you know the drill already with wearing stuff like this so this is one of those for me another thing is chunky sandals every year I wear a chunky shoe for summer in particular I have grown up in London born and raised I live now in New York but I've grown up around wearing chunky footwear it's just one of those things that I've always worn and I've grown up with Doc Martin boots they are like they are almost like my, my semi-uniform of my life and because they're so chunky and because I remember going through Camden Town, Mar Camden Town Market um, you know and just seeing the people, punks, it's a different culture over there compared to here where I live now and wearing chunky footwear and that celebration of androgyny um, is very much the English vibe and that's something that I have carried through now and always will and so wearing a chunky sandal for me is a given um, I will show on the screen examples like obviously my Doc Martens these ones the Doc Martens sandals I think they're called an artilla I will link these for you below I love these they're amazing always reach for these flipping sandals because they're so cool they're comfortable my friend Diary has bought them a bunch of you have told me on Instagram that you've bought me bought them you've bought me <laughs> You've tagged me to let me know and you've shown me pictures of you wearing them. So I love them just as much as you do. Chanel Dad sandals, that's another thing I'll show you right here. I love them. I have three pairs. I know. Trust me, I know. Three pairs of them, but I wear those to death. When I was on holiday, I wore the rubber ones so much because we were on the beach. We even went flipping rock climbing. Not rock climbing, it's like, uh, uh. But we were like going from one beach to another. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm digressing. And we had to literally go on this terrain. And it was almost like a cliff. It actually was. I'm not going to lie. It was a cliff. We saw mountain goats chewing. Whilst I was walking, I was wearing my Chanel Dad sandals, the rubber ones. Where are they? Those things saved my arse. These, no lie. If you, on Instagram stories, I was telling you, whilst I was, um, you know, I was filming whilst I was there, I was wearing these and I swear, I can't believe how they look okay at the bot at the back. They have been through so much wearing these and they're fine. They're rubber and they were great to also just switch from walking on that terrain to just walking around in on sand. They are a perfect shoe in terms of that. So if you're looking for a good summer shoe, I'm not saying run out and get down sandals by Chanel, but a rubber sandal. I never knew how comfortable and practical a rubber sandal was until I got them. Um, I just never knew. Some people I hear get like rubber slides and that's always an option as well very comfortable very kind of slipper like i personally like the kind of like you know dad orthopedic birkenstocky type of shoe so chunky shoes that is something that i've always wanted to gravitate to towards every single summer without fail another thing that i gravitate to every single summer is my jewelry i always pick gold jewelry that in some way just adds a statement to what I'm wearing like like these pieces from Monica Veneda it's going to show you I'm wearing two of their pieces right now hold on look at that gorgeous I layered these two so I'm wearing the groove t-bar necklace which is this one right here and I'm also wearing the groove curb necklace which is the shorter one that you can see right here i'm actually wearing it kind of lariat style but you don't have to do that you you can actually um, fasten this wherever you want to i fastened it right here it really is up to you and i like um, any kind of necklace that has that kind of 
flexibility to it. And this is part of Monica Venada's spring summer collection and i thought these were perfect to layer they are chunky but not overpowering do you know what i mean because they stand out more than say very thin chains but these ones are thick enough to be noticeable but not so big that they overpower and you feel like you're like mr t's wife so it's just enough and i really like those two together and i also have their groove curb bracelet which i have just layered wearing it with my watch and it is right here is this piece and this is also really really pretty very very simple it really and it really complements i also got these earrings which are really nice from monica veneda i want to show you them these like hoops really pretty um very simple kind of hoops as well so it looks like my ears are sticking out but they're not i'm just kind of like it's my hair it's like making my ears go forward these earrings are lovely they're so pretty look i want to see they're really really simple and i like that they're not too like massive you know but also but they're not like huggy earrings they're just the right size so i do have a code as well for you it is 20 percent off of Monica Veneda jewelry and I will leave a link for you below click through to that to use that 20% off you are very very welcome that's a nice that's a nice discount to get that amount and it's nice for the summertime it's perfect look at that there's a reason why I just kind of stick to wearing gold jewelry I love how warming it is it's so <laughs> Bigger pizza pie, that's amore. Okay, so the next thing for summer that I love to wear, um, I always, actually this is more like something I always buy, not wear. Every summer, and I do this out of season all the time, I always look for a statement, sorry, I always look for a winter piece. Something that I can get that's in the sales, probably on clearance because it's the height of summer, but I can wear it later on but i can get it now because it's gonna cost next to nothing <laughs> and i do that every single time you watch i'm sure in the dead of winter i'm gonna see something for spring summer and i'm just gonna pick it up because it's like 70 or 80 percent off and no one's even thinking about that because it's freaking minus 10 outside and who is even going to think of buying that but karen will anyway so i picked up this uh trench coat from asos and should i show it to you Oh, hang on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know it's up here. Oh no, it's not. It's downstairs. You know what? Sorry. For once, I'm not going downstairs. I will insert cutaways. But I found this great wool trench. It's double breasted. It kind of has a slight military esque vibe to it. And um, I just thought it was great. It's actually about three sizes bigger than I am. And I love that because it has, see how this looks? This um, blazer on me. That's the look, that's the vibe that that um, coat, that wool coat from ASOS has on me. And I also love that it comes with this really wide belt, wide buckle. So when you cinch it in, because the belt is so wide, it really does cinch in this oversized wool trench coat. And it looks so good together. Like that combination. I love cinching like this. I love just, just, just cinch. Sorry, I'm like yelling. I love cinching. I just think it's such a cool thing to do. And anyway, so I love that. It's winter time appropriate. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. There's certain things that you cannot wait to wear. That coat, I cannot wait to wear. Another thing I always do every single summertime is I always look for that statement sunglass. I do it, I, oh. Celine, it started with, actually it was before the Celine before the white saline, it came before these, right? These were one of the first, right? In terms of like a higher end, right? I went with these. God, this actually looks good with this. <gasps> Look at this together. Do not tell me. God, this looks so, oh, this looks so bad ass together. I need to shoot, right? I'm shooting this. this. This look has to be shot. Yeah, I'm glad I'm seeing this here because I'm gonna make a mental note and shoot this because this looks good in my opinion but you know when i say in my opinion this is my channel of course it's my opinion these glasses were one of the first one of the first statement glasses that i i got during the summer and to me they are still one of my favorite favorite glasses um they're not inexpensive obviously these are a designer pair of glasses but 
I have got my cost per wear down on these puppies, I tell you. And then for this summer, I got the black version of them because I always wanted a very extreme cat eye, just like those are, and I got them in black. So it's exactly the same glasses, but in black. And I got these this year. Same mirror effect. Look at that. But look at that, look at that point, that one. God, it's the point for me. You guys know about these already. It's the Loewe sunglasses. And yes, I said plural. I do have both of them. I know, kill me. I know you want to kill me, but sod it. Sorry. I don't care. My channel. I love them. So I got the red ones. I don't wear the red ones with this outfit. I wore these actually with, um, what was I wearing? I was wearing like a dark navy dress, very kind of 90s, like just spaghetti straps, small print daisy uh, print all over it, maxi length. And I had those on and it rocked, like that color combination, that deep blue, almost black, with those red, with the gold, and the gold kind of picks up on my skin color. Gold always does, it just, it just does. Brown eyes, you know, I think of, oh God, I nearly poked my eye out. And then also the white ones, which I wear for other occasions. And I actually, believe it or not, look at these. Someone, one of you guys said it looks like retro television screens, and I completely agree with you. Another one said it looks like um, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory or 3D glasses that you get. Can, can you imagine in the cinema? Imagine if I went to the cinema, right? And everyone puts their 3D glasses and I put these on. I agree. I agree with all of you. It looks like all of that, all of the above, and I love that. So, yeah. Also from Love Day, I like these. I've got my earrings back on. These statement glasses, these are by, look how cool these look. These are by Love Day. Now this goes to show you that you don't have to spend a fortune and get like designer sunglasses. Look how cool these look, right? Badass. No one, oh my Lord, look at that. No one can say that these aren't statement sunglasses because they are. And these one are a little bit more subtle, so a little bit smaller. Oh God, they go perfectly with my um, scarf though, don't they? God, they really go well with the scarf. I just realized that. But these are also from Love Day. I picked up a few of their glasses. So I love this particular kind of like icy um, teal kind of, not teal, it's like an icy stone bluey sort of color. But I also have them in a pink as well. But anyway, so they do really good glasses. Look at these. These, these these are a statement and these are also from Love Day. Cheap as chips, but they're really fun. These are really, really fun. It's like diamonds all around them. <laughs> and they're like an oval, ovoid kind of shape. Very kind of retro, kind of Mad Men-esque era. I feel like wearing those glasses. Um, statement sunglasses, I just seem to just, I just gravitate to them every single summer without fail. Um, another thing, every single summer, um, unfortunately being you know with everything that happened last year hasn't happened but we usually Michael and I try and do one summer thing like we go somewhere do something it doesn't have to be overseas either it could be domestic like we usually try and go to New Orleans Jazz Festival that's something that we love to do just to escape obviously it didn't happen last year um, and we have not gone this year we always try every single summer to do that one trip. This year, I guess it was going to Anguilla and St. Bart's, which was like, wow. It was our, our way to like, I need to get out the house. We need to do something, let's get out, let's get out. So, so we did that and it was brilliant and I love it and I loved all of it. And I shared the video um, with, at least for the Anguilla. I haven't done the St. Bart's part, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll, cause I have the footage of us being in St. Bart's. So I just haven't like made a video of it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll lump that into like a vloggy video or something, like a chit chat video. Like maybe the two of us will come on, on like a YouTube video together and we'll just chit chat about St. Bart's and what we liked, what we didn't. And we'll insert cutaways of like, you know, the trip. I kind of like that. It's a bit different, right? Than the usual like slow motion going through the sand, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, anyway, point is every single summer, International or domestic, doesn't matter. Try and do something, something. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're going to a flea market. I don't, well, not a flea market, something a bit more big. You know what I mean? But just something. You decide whatever that something is. Maybe it's a tradition. Maybe it's going to some beach that you like to go to every single summertime. 
So another thing that I do every single summertime is I pick up a scarf. Um, I have been picking up vintage scarves for a very long time now and this is just one of them. I usually actually get them from Love Day. I'll put them on the screen, I'll tag them. Um, they're great. I, I tag them all the time on my Instagram. I love their scarves. She has such a good selection. The woman who actually owns and runs the boutique. And whenever I pop into any sort of flea market or thrift vintage shop, I always rummage through and look at vintage scarves. Remember last Friday's video when I went upstate? The one where I found this, this lovely, this gorgeous gem of a piece, this pre-loved Fendi. The ladies, the, the couple, sorry, in that shop was so nice. It was so sweet. Anyway, so I picked this up from there. Um, watch the video. If you've not seen it, I'll link it. They were so cool. And you, I dare you not to agree. If you watch that video, you'll see exactly what I mean. They were amazing. And it's a shop I've been going to upstate for a very, very long time. Every single summer, that's another thing I do go upstate and when I do I usually swing by that particular shop so have a look if you're into like unusual different just kind of like hole in the wall squirreled away little places you'll love that one so um, watch that you'll see when I found this they had a vintage scarf in there and in the video you'll see me I was like looking at it hmm, I quite like that hmm, not too bad anyway so I was looking at that scarf but I've always looked at vintage scarves. Um, I picked up, as you know, the Hermes scarf when I got my Kelly, which is up there. I picked up with it the Hermes scarf because I've always liked Hermes scarves from going back from, uh, anyway, you saw when I did that cutaway showing Rihanna and I like going through my wardrobe purge one year and I was like pulling at this shirt because I was like, but doesn't this shirt pattern look like vintage Hermes? And she's like, uh, no. But you know, it's just one of those things. I've just like scarves and Hermes scarves was like, oh, I'd love to own an Hermes scarf. So, you know, I checked that box and I have one from them and it's a gorgeous like blue and black combination. I think it's got trimmed with brown. That's why I like that bloody scarf is because it's one of my favorite color combos. It's got blue and brown, which is, you know how I feel about blue and brown. I've always told you those color combinations go together. Another thing that I've noticed I do every single um, summer is I always pick up some kind of statement sandal and it's not something I've been it's it's something I'm subconsciously doing I'm not aware that I'm doing it and it's not something I'm actively looking to do um, but I've started to do it the silver handsome ones these ones you guys know this already these right look hold on these these I picked up always seem to do that I always need to pick up some kind of tethery looking sandal. Have you not noticed? Comment below if you notice that I Karen gravitates to tethery kind of sandals. But this is a good tethery kind of sandal. Um, but this looks like, you know, you could just do tether and just like just DIY it and just put like plastic flowers on it. But you know, that kind of thing. And then I went on to get these, didn't I? These are by Arizona Love. And these have like the flowers like pearl flowers whatever you call them all over it so I had those and I was rocking those last year I think it was the year before that um, and then I picked up these ones which is like the same kind of principle but I feel like these are on steroids because they have three they have three um, velcro straps of pearl to them just do that up there so there you go there's another one here. I probably should have done this up before, shouldn't I? These. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Three, right? Ah! So I got these this year. I just noticed a pattern. <sighs> anyway, so those are the things that I have noticed that every single summer I gravitate to, right? It's just, I buy them. I pick one up. It's just, it's something I've, I've noticed I do. And I'd love to hear, what is it you tend to pick up every, I know I'm going to ask you that, every single summer? Usually there is something that you, you may not realize until you think about it and you're like, oh yeah, I always pick up a new pair of glasses or I always pick up a new blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? But for me, those are the things I just listed that I always gravitate to every single summer. All right, so that is it, my loves. Do not forget to make use of that 20% off discount code from Monica Veneda and I'll leave the information, like I said, listed for you below. 
Um, for anyone who hasn't seen the videos where I mentioned my description box, if you're watching my video on a mobile, this is how you access the description box. Because um, some of you have said to me, I have no idea where this description, where is this mystery description box that you, that you guys always talk about? So if you're looking at me on the cell phone right now, here is an example. Just click on the lower uh, right corner and you will see like there's a little V. It's like an upside, upside down V. It's like a V letter um, and it's an arrow. You click on the arrow, it switches to an X and it expands the menu. And there is a menu that is underneath my uh, video. So that is where all the links are. You are very welcome because you're going like, oh, why? Okay, finally, that's where it is. Anyway, that is it, my loves. I want to do a quick video on some of the things that I have been loving and I noticed there was a pattern. I call it my summer pattern. I can make this a series. I just realized, right? Because obviously, once it's fall, what's my fall pattern? What's my winter pattern? Then what's my spring pattern? And then we're back to summer again. Oh, I think if it's not going to be Tuesday, next Tuesday, then it will be next Friday. I'm not sure which one's going to be, but I'm going to actually walk you through my collection, my um, pre-fall collection of pieces that I've come out with. And I cannot wait to like just properly show you on YouTube. This, I love the way this kind of like cinches in your waist and you can just make it go even tighter if you want. But anyway, I'm not going to do that too much now, but I will show you if it's not going to be Tuesday's video coming, then it will be Friday's video because I do videos Tuesday and Friday. I'm just not sure when that will go up. But if you want to see already what it looks like, I'm posting outfit ideas and posting me wearing the pieces already on my Instagram. So you can check it out there. I am Karen Britchick. Give this a video a thumbs up if you got some, if it kicked off in your brain thinking, that's true. I always wear such and such during the summertime. Do you know what I mean? Do you have a summer pattern as well? That is it. Um, I will see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I'm saying those words again. But yeah, I will see you next Tuesday. Have a good weekend, my loves, and take care.